Hey guys, what's going on? Sean of Third Relify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So, Shapiro is out. Tim Walt is in. Tim Walt has been picked as Kamala Harris's VP in the 2024 presidential election. That's crazy. And we'll talk about why it's crazy in just a moment. But do like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel on YouTube, on X, and on Rumble. But especially on Rumble. I'm not long for this YouTube world. But Rumble is um, where it's at. If you don't have Rumble, or if you tried Rumble a long time ago and you thought it was shit, try it again. It's actually improving at light speed. Pretty crazy when you think about it. Follow me there. So, Mala Harris picked Minnesota's progressive governor Tim Waltz as her running mate to take on Donald Trump and J.D. Vance after weeks of speculation and a bitter fight between candidates. So, everyone, really, ev everyone, everyone on the right, everyone on the left was like, oh, it's going to be Shapiro. It's going to be the governor of Pennsylvania. She really needs to win Pennsylvania. If she, if she shadow campaign aside, if she's going to have a, a chance to win this, she's going to need Pennsylvania. So why, why not? Why not Shapiro? He's a, a, a strapping man with, with uh, a penchant for getting his ideas out there or whatever. Right. And well, if we're honest, the oppo file, the opposition research file on <laughs> him, it, it it was kind of bad. It was well, he's he's too Jewish. I'm just gonna say it. There's, I'm I'm just throwing a throw it out there. He's just too Jewish. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying the far left base that. Kamala Harris has, she's not really interested, or they're not really interested in anything or anyone that wears a little hat. He was in the IDF, I don't think as a soldier, but as some sort of volunteer or something. He, he, did, he did time in Israel helping Israel. And that's, that's real bad. So they're not, they're not too fond on, on Shapiro. But also, he covered up a murder. A young woman was murdered, horrifically, brutally stabbed in all kinds of manners. Just stabbed. Like the back of the head and stuff like that. Back of the neck. And then he was like, yeah, that's totally a suicide. What are you talking about? But also, there was, there was some uh, sex assault issues that he's covered up as well. So, not a great dude. And I think people have pointed out that Shapiro would have stabbed Kamal in the back even faster than what she stabbed Joe Biden in the back. So, Shapiro out, even though everyone thought he was going to be it. Tim Waltz, or Walls in. So who is this guy? Who is he? Well, the 60-year-old father of two who has been married to his teacher wife, Gwen, since 1994, joins the ticket in a victory for the far left of the party who were concerned about some of the other contenders' support of Israel. See? I didn't even read this. And I already know what's up. Shapiro was just a little too Jewy. What a horrible thing to think, by the way. In Minnesota, Walls has codified the right to abortion, signed universal free school meals, legalized recreational marijuana, and gave voting rights to former prisoners. Well, doesn't that just sound lovely, all of that stuff? The former teacher is also credited with being the Democrat who started calling Republicans weird a craze that has dominated the campaign since Joe Biden dropped out of the race last month. I mean, weird's not an insult. Weird's fine. It's fine. I mean, places, there's a bunch of places that like to be called weird. So it's not a, 
it's not like a an attack or whatever. I'm weird. And that that's cool. I will be different. I will be weird. I'll be that weird little fella. You can be boring and cringe. Weird is where the fun is. Kamala is as cringe as can be. But it's fine. It doesn't matter. Walls turn the North Star State into a refuge for LGBTQ Americans and has also backed making Minnesota the 13th sanctuary state for undocumented migrants. The Daily Mail is technically telling you how it is, but they're not really highlighting the hellscape that Minnesota has turned into. Harris announced her decision after a hotly watched Veep Stakes in the two weeks after taking over Biden's campaign. She didn't... <laughs> she didn't take over Biden's campaign. Biden suspended his campaign, and she rapidly spooled up her own. This is why she's not entitled to that money. Because it's her own campaign. It's not taking over Biden's campaign. It is her own campaign. Because if she's taking over Biden's campaign, she's also saying yes. Those were my policies. Kamala doesn't have policies on her website. I even tweeted out in a really nice tweet to Kamala HQ. I said, hey, listen, Kamala HQ, um, can, can you point me to the policies on your website? Or, I was like, the vice president's opponent has 16 pages of in-depth ideas and of, of what he's going to do, his policy position. I can't seem to find that or anything remotely similar on, on your KamalaHarris.com. Can, can you, I mean, I must be missing it. Can you point it out to me? Crickets. I haven't even, I haven't heard back. I was really polite and professional and everything. There is no policy positions. The only policy that Kamala has is I'm not Donald Trump. And with how cool Donald Trump is coming off, that's just not going to be enough. Like Everyone loves the Donald Trump dance. Like This dance is fire, as the kids would say. I am proud to announce that I've asked Tim Walls to be my running mate, Kamala wrote on X after reports emerged an hour prior of the decision. And that's because all of the big black SUVs, they give, they give it away. They gave it away with J.D. Vance, and they gave it away with Tim Walls. As a governor, a coach, a teacher, a veteran, he's delivered for working families like this. It's great to have him on the team, she added. Now let's get to work. Charlie Kirk, however. Charlie Kirk has a different opinion. A more, well, you tell me. Charlie Kirk says, welcome to the race, Tim Walls. Let's make sure America knows who you are. You helped ignite the George Floyd riot, the worst the country had seen in decades. While Minneapolis burned, you stalled on deploying the National Guard for an entire day, blaming the city for not submitting the right paperwork. I mean, talk about a dick move. You let your daughter leak the guard's deployment plans online so that rioters would know how long they had to loot the city with impunity. Minneapolis is a war zone because of you. Just days after the attempted murder of Donald Trump, you called him and his supporters fascists, egging on the same rhetoric that led him to being shot in the first place. You have overseen some of the most radical youth trans surgery laws in the country. Under your leadership, teenagers can get their breasts chopped off and get sterilized, and your government calls it health care. You have the most radical abortion laws in the country, zero limits. Every year, five to six babies are born alive and then murdered legally under laws that you support. That's actually really heartbreaking because it does happen. And just because something is legal doesn't make it right. You know what I mean? 
on immigration. You famously said you wanted to provide a ladder so invaders can come over Trump's wall. You are a radical open border zealot. Yes, he said, yeah, if Trump wants to build his wall, just tell me how high it's going to be. Is it going to be 25 feet high? I will invest in a company that makes 30 feet ladders. The 30 foot ladders, rather. You oversaw the single worst fraud of the COVID era, the feeding our future case. Thanks to ineptitude at your Department of Education, the criminals stole $250 million of taxpayer money to spend on luxury cars, houses, and vacations. Also, during COVID, you approved $500 million in hero pay for frontline workers only to have 40% of that money go to people who are ineligible or, in many cases, literally deceased. In the House, you were Pelosi's sidekick and did whatever the Democrats demanded. You will try and disguise yourself as a folksy Midwestern moderate. In reality, you are a white male version of Kamala Harris. Radical. Inept undeserving to be in leadership. Make this go viral. Ruin their honeymoon. Let's educate millions because the media will not. That's Tim Walls. Harris Walls. The most left-wing ticket in American history. Now, Kamala Harris is the farthest left in the Senate. Again, that's not because her ideas are the farthest left, although they are pretty shockingly left. It's because she absolutely refused to work with conservatives. She wouldn't come to the aisle and cooperate, right? Even so, Bernie Sanders, he's, he's got farther left ideas than, than Harris. But Bernie Sanders, he would come and compromise. He would, you know, sponsor a bill with, you know, whoever on, 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 the, on the GOP. Kamala would never do that. And so now we have someone who is absolutely pig-headed, will not compromise at all with, 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 with any conservative, now teamed up with somebody who's actually a communist, who's actually a far, far, far left socialist. That is the end. Straight up, that is the end of America. If that ticket gets in. It's already a Chinese-style implementation of leadership that's happening on the left. I don't know why the left isn't rioting about what's happening. They didn't vote for Kamala. Nobody in any primary ever voted for Kamala. And yet here she is, leading in the polls. So on July 23rd, Walls appeared on MSNBC. It is believed to be how weird took off nationally with everyone from from the vice president to Democratic pundits jumping in. You do not like what has happened when you can't even go to Thanksgiving dinner with your uncle because you end up in some weird fight that is unnecessary, Wall said. Well, it's true. These guys are just weird. It's funny that Justin Trudeau here in Canada and his liberals are now using the same thing. Conservatives are weird. No, liberals are boring and cringe. They ruin everything. Anyways, let's, let's wrap this up. This guy's a socialist. He's a socialist. He's damn near fucking communist. And um, it's the farthest left ticket in American history. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.